too smart to be marketing. <laughs> 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 uh, that was but on, that was on. <laughs> <laughs> we get to edit this afterwards. Oh, well, sure, sure, so I'll send it to uh, you know, uh, Nick. <laughs> send it to Nick, is that what I So, so um, tell us a little bit more about Skull, Tra Skull Trail. What is it? So I don't know if you remember, but about a year and a half ago, I met with you, with your camera, and we were showing an 8-core machine uh, uh, running Povray, and that was a kind of a workstation board. Uh, so what we did is, after seeing all of those people looking at it and giving us feedback, we decided to do a platform based on the feedback, and that's called well, two dual-core, uh, quad-core processor, uh, overclocking uh, possible, uh, four slot PCI Express 16, support for SLI, support for Crossfire, uh, everything you can think of today is in the box. First big target for us is uh, the media creators, people that you know edit video and uh, start 3D rendering, mixing with video and doing those kind of things. Uh, a couple of Hollywood people commented recently on Sculpture saying that it, it allowed them to uh, do much wilder, much more creative things just using the processing power of this machine. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have another target which is, uh, I would say, the high-end gamers that uh, like playing games but, you know, no problem running anything on the background, you know, just... It's not, it's not the soup. The, First, we have SLI, we have Crossfire, so you can go and do a lot of things in, in, uh, in, in, the, in, in the graphic area where you can render most of the games without any problem at very high frame rate. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, you can, since you have all of those eight core, uh, you can you can just create your games. So for video game programmers, for 3D content creators in the game industry, it's actually pretty good as well. First, all of the 3D rendering tools do it very well. This is all they all all support eight cores in thread, so uh, you know 3ds Max, Lightwave, uh, uh, Cinebench, uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, so for game for game creators, you got you got you got it. Uh, now you have uh, a couple of application uh, for video that actually is thread already up to eight. So we, we we are showing on the boost a couple of apps that, that do that. Gaming, they are getting there. You know, the, the industry understood that we are going. We are serious about going multi-core. So now they don't program for two cores. They don't program for four cores. They program for n core. So you know, with New Harlem coming, it makes sense to, to have the games and to evolve this direction. Uh, Sculptural is, is actually a very good validation vehicle to use if you want to program for the future computers that we're going to release this year and next year. Right. In terms of power consumption, how, how it's, uh, yeah. Power <coughs> consumption. Um, Sculptural is kind of a Ferrari. If you can't afford the gas, don't buy it. That's the message I put around. It's, uh, that's a message for Henri Richard, who has a couple of Ferraris uh, <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> I'm not commenting about Henri. Uh, <laughs> I know he does pretty well now, but uh, yeah. uh, yeah. power is not really something we considered when we designed Sculpture. Right. Sometimes when you read the processing power, uh, power is not what you look at first. You know, if you, if you, if you can produce five minutes of movies, uh, in a shorter time, you're actually using less power, correct? If you render faster, you you can turn off your computer earlier. If you look at the uh, rendering, uh, 3D rendering by itself, if you cut uh, the rendering time by having more processing power, you will save energy. So okay. there's many angles you can you can look at. How does that compare with uh, I don't know, maybe four by four? What? <laughs> <laughs> well. There's a major difference between 4x4 and Sculptural. Sculptural has a clear performance lead that 4x4 never had. If you look at 3D rendering, there's, you know, since, since you can overclock Sculptural, there's nothing that can compete with it. So you get, you get very high-end performance on 3D rendering. If you look at video editing, uh, you need to pick up your software 
you know, correctly. So you need to use Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere, those kind of software, or thread it up to eight threads, so you will get the speed up. So then you will be faster than a quad core. Uh, on gaming, some some games are dialing with with the regular you know quad core system, and we can see here at GDC that the software is evolving and the games are getting ready for eight core. We have demos that scale further than eight four core today, so you will get benefit by having eight. If you expect the reliability of a workstation, buy a workstation. You know, don't go and overclock things and do you know touch the, the parameters of the machine and expect reality of a workstation is not going to happen you know those nodes are open we always explain the rules with overclocking which is we don't guarantee anything if you get there okay mm. so it's overclocking take your responsibility it's not a workstation just because of this for example you have sli sli is not really a workstation feature by, by definition so same for Crossfire. If you if you want to do workstation work, you will go and plug a, a more robust, more PNGL like graphic graphic uh, yeah. subsystem. Mm. So just different positioning and different you know way of designing things. Mm. When you want to be able to overclock, we had to redesign the entire voltage rail, for example. So uh, right now you have three stage voltage regulators on, on those boards. Workstation don't do this day. They go for extremely sharp voltage regulation, no variation, but they don't go for being able to go to, uh, as culture, you can go up to 1.9 volts. You know, actually it's a number that can damage your processor if you, if you go stupid on it. So, uh, you know, we open the nodes like any uh, high-end enthusiast platforms, but we want people as well in the documentation which say, you know, you shouldn't do that if mm. you don't feel comfortable and you don't understand what you're doing. So okay. it's it's a very different thing, it's not a station. Okay.